Pedro. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I have some problem fixing it, but uh, my name is Cassia, and as Anna has said, I'm speaking today on behalf of the Real Plus Bad movement. What is Real Plus Bad movement? We are a youth-led vegetarian movement of Brazilian NGOs that wants to introduce the animal rights and vegetarianism at Real Plus Twins. I will speak a little bit of why we, are, we want to do this, but the problem we face uh, that during the previous conference there was too little said about this kind of problem that live livestock is right now for the planet and we wonder why this happens maybe because this is related with social habits that most of people today here and during the conference they have right now and, we, and sustainable development is all about changing our habits so we want to introduce a little bit of our case and maybe uh, this can be useful to other issues. Uh, why uh, introduce vegetarianism in real close trainings? We have the environmental issue. Probably most of you are familiar with uh, the food uh, and agriculture organization uh, reports. And in one of them, uh, well, it was said that livestock today is re responsible for one fifth of um, global warming which uh, means that no, uh, nowadays the livestock is the most important actor in global warming. And here in Brazil, uh, we, we have 50% of the uh, Amazon deforestation related with it. So it's quite, kind of a huge uh, environmental issue. But it's, uh, it's also a um, social issue because we have the, the labor labor here in Brazil it, we just uh, uh, have a, a report about it, and we and the livestock is one of the three most important activities related to uh, slavery labor here. And we also have the uh, poverty question because it should because we uh, use nowadays uh, about 97 percent of soy meal to feed the cattle, and we also use 60 percent of the corn. To do it as well. So when we have in 2030 a world with 8 million people, we must uh, think about more in a more efficient way to feed all of them. And we we have also a clear relation with obesity, cancer, diabetes, and heart issue, uh, heart disease, increasing the most developed countries. And on the and, and on the other hand, we have the waste of the grains I've said, so uh, that they could feed people directly. We, uh, we have some recommendations too because uh, this is a kind of thing that we can uh, start doing the individual level just right now. We, you can uh, start reducing your meat and dairy consumption and you, you can also um, uh, divulge this, this kind of uh, data. But we have here in Brazil some examples of institutional level uh, actions like, for example, uh, Sao Paulo government we have right now, uh, they support the Meat Last Monday, which is a global program that it was initiated with Paul McCartney. And we have also uh, right now the implementation of vegetarian meals in public schools. So we are doing something uh, related to this. And we are also fighting for end livestock subsidies and increasing incentives or alternative options. And uh, finally, um, in a more general approach, uh, we believe in a concept of sustainable development that includes the other beings of the planet, because uh, uh, until now we just speak of the future human generations, but do we have the right of condemn the other species to extinction because of our consumption patterns? So we, we want to introduce this, address these questions for, to you today. Thank you very much.